This man will never die. I kid you not. He has died not just once, twice or three times, but six times and came back to life. Finally, there was a day when people, greatly concerned and considering him a problem, burned him in his house to see if he could finally die. Guess what? He was burned and couldn't breathe because of the smoke. He died that day, but here I am with him today. How is this possible? I saw it with my own eyes. We had come to bury him, but just before the ceremony started, he came out of the coffin. This wasn't the only time. Even after that, he continued to cause confusion because there were other occasions when he died and came back to life. From serious accidents, illnesses and other incidents, this man has died multiple times. Each time his family and friends gathered for his funeral, but on the day of the burial, the man would come back to life. Life continued, but I felt that there was something wrong with my life. Every time I died and came back, my body felt very strange. Because of the many witches in our area, people started treating me as if I were a witch. Is he immortal or has any special powers? How do people treat him? All these questions made me travel a long way to Tanzania to find out if what is being said is true. I didn't believe it either, but I accepted it after meeting him and having this conversation. My name is Ismail Azizi. I am 40 years old and live in Ukulewe, Tanzania, where I was born. I was born with siblings, but now I am alone and have no wife or children because of the hardships I've faced. I did not grow up in a wealthy family. We were very poor. I couldn't pursue further education, which affected my chances of becoming wealthy or achieving something special. Despite my dreams of becoming rich, my struggles in life made it impossible. Because he grew up in a difficult environment, he had to face life and work hard on his own since there was no one to provide everything he needed. He couldn't rely on his parents, siblings or family due to their limited resources. Day after day, he worked very hard to survive. However, as he grew older, life's challenges became even more demanding. The problems I have faced in life are numerous because each one was related to my circumstances and I had to deal with them. To find myself living as you see me today, there was a time when I was at work and had a very serious accident. Everyone who saw it thought my life was over. They took me to the hospital in critical condition. And when we arrived at the hospital, the doctors told my friends and relatives that I was dead. My brothers and other close family members had already accepted that they had lost me in the accident. They took me to the morgue. I didn't feel what was happening before, but I woke up again, feeling very cold. Fortunately, the morgue wasn't closed, and it was a place where people were laid, not locked in a box alone. When I got up and walked, I wasn't fully conscious, but I saw everyone staring at me in shock. Soon, my family came to pick me up and take me back home. This was shocking news to see a dead person come back to life, something usually only heard of in books. On one hand, the family was happy because they saw Ismail alive again, but on the other hand, it was confusing and caused great fear among people who knew much about his funeral, which had already been prepared. When we got home, I found a lot of people there, but when they saw me, they immediately started to run away. They had already begun the funeral rituals because everyone had accepted that I was dead. People started thinking I was a ghost, which is why most of them ran away as soon as they saw me. After that, life went on, but people didn't believe I was a real person. Instead, they all thought I was a ghost, and some even feared me because of what I had been through up to that day. As the days went by, the problems kept coming his way. 
each bringing a new challenge and creating confusion and fear in those around him. The events that followed the second time are difficult to explain in a way that makes sense to the human mind. At that time, I was suffering from malaria. I had been very sick for days at home, and no one took care of me. When my condition worsened, people finally took me to the doctor. The illness had advanced, and I was in a bad state. The doctors declared that I was dead. My family immediately prepared a coffin for me. However, as soon as they placed me in the coffin, I woke up and realized I was alive. They couldn't believe it, because this was the second time it had happened. They brought the doctors to verify that I was alive. Even my parents couldn't believe that someone could die and come back to life more than once. This made me suspicious as well. And because of the many witches in our area, people started treating me as if I were a witch. My name is Almansi. I was born here, and I know that man very well. His experiences are so frightening that I am afraid of him myself. What you have heard is not a lie because I saw it with my own eyes. We had come to bury him, but just before the ceremony started, he came out of the coffin. Everyone there immediately ran away because it is terrifying to see someone you know is dead come back to life. This wasn't the only time. Even after that, he continued to cause confusion because there were other occasions when he died and came back to life. I finally reached a point where I started wondering who was responsible. For the third time, we were on a trip when our car collided with another vehicle carrying fuel and I went into a coma. This happened at different hospitals and even the doctors started to get scared because I had been in front of them so many times. They began treating me as if I were a witch. I returned home and life continued, but this time I was living alone because my family was far away. It didn't end there. The following year while farming, I was bitten by a snake. With no one to help me, I went to the doctor only after the poison had spread throughout my body. It didn't take long for me to die. This time, my family came back because I spent three days in the morgue, which was longer than I had ever been dead before. This time, many people, including his family, believed that he was truly dead. They gathered again and planned his burial. However, the day they went to retrieve his body from the hospital became the most horrifying day of their lives. His old friend recalls being among those who went to pick up the body that day. Often when I think about what happened that day, I feel scared again. We all thought it was over since it had been three days. We went to the morgue to bring him for burial but we found him looking alive. Some of us were in shock because it was hard to believe, but we saw it with our own eyes. It didn't stop there. Months later, he fell into a toilet pit and was taken out dead, but then he got up again. Everyone ran away in fear, and now, whenever we see him, we run because we can't believe he's human. This was the fifth time this man had died but come back to life. In the area where he lives, people started treating him as a sorcerer, while others believed he was under God's protection. However, most people began to see him as a serious problem. Even the last time, it was the locals who tried to end his life. I continued to live, but I felt that there was something wrong with my life. Every time I died and came back, my body felt very strange. Finally, people came to my house claiming I was a great witch in our area, and set the house on fire. Trapped inside, I had no way to escape. The smoke made it impossible to breathe, and though some good people came to help, they found me dead. I woke up again in the hospital morgue. By this time, my brothers and others started saying that I was no ordinary person and could not die unless God willed it. One thing that might explain my situation is a family story I heard. My grandfather once died, and came back to life. Today, he lives a solitary life, doing everything possible to survive in a small old house, with no neighbors or anyone around him. He takes care of himself and does all the housework alone, without any help from relatives or friends. Each day is a struggle, but he manages to keep going despite the isolation and hardships. 
But is this man's supposed immortality really a problem for others, or is it just a perception in the minds of those around him? In general, there is no problem with him. He knows how to get along with people well, and we have never heard of him doing anything bad. People fear him because of what happened, but he is not a bad person in society. I don't think people's attitudes will change because it's scary living with someone who has died six times and come back. However, Ismail is not a bad person, it's just the problems he faced that make people wary. One thing I can say is that I don't regret being like this, but I worry that I won't die because every time I die I come back. I don't enjoy living like this anymore because I don't get the same opportunities as others. People are afraid of me, so I can't get a job or earn money like others. I consider dying and coming back to life as God's grace. On one hand, I am not a special being immune to death, but it's a gift from God. The way people behave towards me is a problem, but I have some advice for them. Live well with others, even if you have problems. Put God first, and don't hurt those around you because sometimes what happens is beyond their control. Despite his incredible and terrifying experiences, he has remained a kind and gentle person. We are all unique in our own ways. We shouldn't always fear what we don't understand. Instead, we should recognize that everyone has their own struggles, and treating others with respect can make a big difference. Before you mistreat someone, ask yourself, what if it were me? Thanks for watching. I am Simon Greenwood, and this is Afrimax English. Don't forget to subscribe.